here from East Made Wood Splitters and welcome back to the East Made channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button on the bottom, and give her a big thumbs up and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on around here at East Made and what's happening with these commercial splitters. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you the difference between a 12-way wedge and a box wedge. This is our 2228. This is the biggest machine we currently make and it's the only machine that we have the 12-way wedge available for right now. Um, you're going to see a lot of other companies that have started coming out with, with bigger multi-way wedges like these 12 ways um, and uh, they have their place um, but uh, they're, not, uh, they're not an end all solution like normally when, you, when you're purchasing a machine like this you need a couple of different wedges to maximize your efficiency. So these 12 way wedges are really good up to around 18 or 20 inches because you're one pass all the way through and you have nice looking firewood. And that's the thing to look at on this, um, because because the way this is designed, you get four pieces out of the middle of it, and then you get eight around the outside of it. A lot of the other ones will have kind of a crisscross box, and I I've done it before. Like we we've built them at like that. Um, I find they don't work very well because the wood has no way to get away. Even if you angle the wings and stagger them, however which way you want you're not going to make a piece of hardwood any smaller. Um, so that's kind of uh, what I've recognized. Like as you can see, the inside of this flare is out. There's nothing in the middle of it, so there's nothing to bind. And then the outside of it's free. Um, so it's a lot, a lot easier on the machine, a lot easier to push wood through it. And then when you get into bigger wood, once you get over that 20 inch mark, that's where you're going to find that this that this box wedge really excels. This is what we try to tell guys. Um, once you go over that threshold that you have to start resplitting stuff, um, the box wedge is typically the way to go with it, just simply because it makes nicer wood. Now, if you start pulling stuff back with this 12 way and splitting wood back through this, there's an awful lot of knives there. So um, you end up with a lot of slivers, a lot of oddball pieces, a lot of, a lot of weird shapes. So if you're trying to sell wood, if you're doing bagged wood, if, if you're doing a, if you're running a business, you have to have a good quality product come out the back. But if you have a bunch of stuff that looks like a, looks like scrap, you're not going to have guys call you back. Um, so that's why uh, that's why we have the two different wedges. Like myself, I'm not I'm not biased either way on one or the other. Both of them work well. Both of them have their place depending on what you're doing. Um, and we have both of them available for a machine. They're just simply a, an attachment. You pull them in and out, and uh, and it's a matter of just switching them over. Um, so, anyways, guys, we'll show you how this works. We'll kind of show you a side by side exactly um, what I'm talking about here in terms of quality of wood versus uh, and time too. Like, uh, if you have to pull something back from this 12 way two or three times, you're just as well to run it through a box wedge and have nice looking stuff. So. Um, anyways, me, me and cousin Mike here are gonna get some wood wood blocked up, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some wood through this. Anyways, um, it's a beautiful day here, so figure we take the time and at least get some wood done.
Well, guys, hopefully that helps you out a lot. Um, as you can see, when you get into that bigger stuff, the 12 way wedges, those big multi way wedges, um, it's a little more wrestling around and a little less consistent than what these box wedges are. Um, the stuff on, the, on my right hand side here, this oak and the maple here, all came off the box wedge. And you can see that it's all really consistent stuff no matter which size it is. Um, and then in that respect, you can see how much faster the 12 way is than the box wedge when you're in that stuff that's that's under that 18 20 inch mark uh, like that maple is as nice of a, a nice as nice a firewood as you're gonna make so it kind of depends uh what your application is and like i said we we have both wedges available for this 22 28 um i'm not biased to these one way or the other at all i'd rather make sure that you guys have a machine that's gonna produce and, and be efficient for you guys um I'm far more concerned about that than, than which wedge you pick. Um, but as you can see, like uh, if you just have a uh, like one of those grid style splitters, uh, they're not gonna make as nice a wood as what what this is. You're gonna have a lot more slivers. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more binding going on. Um, and like I said, guys, it, that's my experience with them. Uh, take it with a grain of salt, if, if you will. Um, but that's. Uh, that, that's my experience with them. I've tried them a lot of different ways. I've built a lot of different wedges and uh, in my experience they just don't work as good as what that particular 12 way 12 way wedge does. Um, that being said it doesn't matter which uh, which commercial machine you buy whether it's from me or from one of my competitors um, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Um, they're just uh, they're just built to perform they're built to last. It's not like that stuff you see at TSC or uh, or Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever you have close to you at one of those box stores. Um, these commercial machines, uh, whether ours or somebody else, is gonna is gonna increase your production tremendously, and it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Um, so if you have any questions, guys, by all means, please ask. The phone number here at Easton Made six one three eight one two three two one three. And if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Give us a big thumbs up, and we'll keep you up to date on what's going on around Easton Made here and. Uh, what new products we have got coming out. Thanks a lot.